man, how have you been, dude? How's how you know you you recovering from your last fight? You unfortunately didn't go your way, but I mean, you look like you're in great spirit right now. Oh yeah, I'm great, man. Um, I've literally I've pretty much been in the gym since maybe a week after the last fight. Once I could walk normal again, so uh, yeah, I've just just been grinding, trying to grow accordingly, and uh, not let that kind of fight happen again. So here we are, a couple That's weeks out. Handy. That's all you can do, dude. So, you know, Johnson, we were just talking about you got Miles John now. How does that how does that change your game plan, man? How does that change how you how you approach this fight? Uh, pretty drastically, honestly. Uh, we we were uh, we, we had we had kind of a, a grapple heavy game plan for the most part going against Johnson. Um, not that not that we thought there was an edge that he had in striking, but there was a definite edge that I had that I haven't even shown yet um, in in the grappling department. So uh, we we were finally. Yeah, the game plan was structured around trying to make me show that and, and bring that to light. So uh, with with Miles John stepping in, because uh, Jose, I, I, I'm not too sure what happened. Um, hopefully he's all right and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, Miles John stepping in. He's a sh- shorter, stockier wrestler who likes to throw big power bombs. So it's like uh, cool. We there's some different areas we got to be a little more a uh, little more aware of, and uh, I think it's gonna be a little more uh, competitive in some other areas. So I I love the fight. I think it's a great fight. Um, It's, I think for where we're both at and what we've kind of both been doing in the UFC, I think it makes more sense. Yeah. It's in this, it, this is the type of fight that you do really well in that I've seen in the past, you know, Um, you're, you're pretty finesse when it comes to your, your boxing and stuff. I, I I told you last time we talked, absolutely love your body work. That's, Thank you, thank you. Good body work is just so mm-hmm. important and underutilized in mixed martial arts. And when you watch people like, you know, Canelo and and uh, Bivol this last weekend rip to the yep. body and all that, it's like, oh, this is mm-hmm. a big path to victory. Yeah, you, I think you saw that with um, uh, Batista this weekend against uh, uh, Benito. Yeah, Lopez. He was working the body money while they were on the feet. Uh, that was that was great, and you could hear all those shots like snapping off the body. It was great. I was pretty impressed with that. Uh, that was a great performance, but I'm, I'm all about working that body and just working all the different areas. Uh, there are some other tools that we're bringing into this one to uh, um, surprise some people, because I think that's all people think of me as far as the, the, uh, the, the boxer who, who's an ex wrestler, who doesn't like to wrestle, who uh, yeah. doesn't like leg kicks, but there's an entirely different game that, that we're trying to bring up and show. So. I love, I love you with the leg kicks, man. That's hilarious. Every yeah, time I, 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 I got to embrace it, dude. Uh, otherwise like a, uh, I spend way too much time up at night. <laughs> Who was that? That was Gutierrez, right? That was Gutierrez, that oh, rat. Yeah. He's fighting. No, but he's, very, he's, he's very good with him. He does him. He does him a little bit different. Uh, and and he's fighting next week, actually on my birth or this coming week on my birthday against uh Frankie Edgar. So I'm 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 tuning in for that one. I was trying to get on the MSG card, but uh, uh, I missed it by a week. But I'll take it. Oh, that's all right, man. So what's well, how how was your recovery after that? Like, were you able to walk? Yeah. Uh, so it's funny. It was, uh, legs. yeah, yeah, it was rough. And, and I flew all my corner into Vegas. That was, I was still living here, but living in, in an apartment here. And when, uh, they all had to fly out bright and early in the mornings and we stayed up real late drinking and just doing our thing. And, uh, so I was left uh, alone with like four big UFC duffel bags and I had to carry them down to my car. And it took me, man, I think it took me, it took me like an hour and a half to make that trip. I was going up and down the damn stuff. I was on the third floor too. Oh, uh, that was rough. That That's rough, but, uh, but no, um, uh, the recovery, it, it was, it wasn't real bad. Um, I was walking right away. Um, it didn't look very good, but I was walking and, uh, and then I may have jumped back into training too soon though, because like a month after that, I ended up tearing my Achilles, um, just, just, just shadow yeah. boxing. So my, my PTs tend to think that it was because of the, some leg kick damage, um, that I just got, I just tried to jump over too quick, but Man, yeah. people, people all the time they'll they'll complain about the um the leg kicks being you know kind of just I don't know not really sissy but it's like ah oh, come on just punch them, but like uh-huh. you get some damage. I mean we've seen the leg breaks and stuff, but like you remember Austin Hubbard when he had compartment syndrome from getting yeah. kicked in the legs? Uh huh. Like yeah, he had wild. To, he had to slice his uh-huh. leg open, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, that's that's uh, that kind of stuff stressed me out a little bit. So uh, yeah, we we spend a lot of time like drilling uh reactions and checking kicks. Now it it's been uh especially because uh we 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 ramped it up a lot for Martinez because him and Gutierrez are teammates, and then he ended up uh I think one of the early leg kicks he threw hit that nerve and shut my leg off. So I I couldn't even. I couldn't check accordingly. And I was like, well, great. Now they're going to think it's still not there. So we doubled down on it again. And I've been checking kicks like 
man, every day I spend some time checking kicks and, and hitting the bag, just trying to toughen up the, the shins and stuff. Cause it's not like a, those cap kicks are a lot harder to see. It's just a lot below the peripheral. Right. Yeah. So like they're, yeah, they're a lot harder to see, but uh, um, if you can't beat them, join them, I say. So. Hey, I like that idea. Crowd <laughs> yeah, the kicker, yeah. huh? So when, when you are checking those leg kicks though, like, and you said it is right below your peripheral stuff. <laughs> what, what are you looking for? Is it like um, a drop of the hands? Like when they, uh, drop their hands to throw the leg kick. They kind of let's see if it's your back leg. You want drop your right hand to kick it or whatever. Is that what you're looking yeah, for? Yeah. Uh, there's that and, and and any of those those hip motions. Like I'm starting to recognize those hip motions just a little bit better. So now like a I'm like you can see when people are like throwing those heavy feints and they throw those feints so heavy because it looks so similar to when mm-hmm. it's actually being thrown. Um, so yeah, just starting to recognize that just a little bit better and. Uh, and, and the range management, it, it's MMA. I keep trying to hang out heavy in a boxing range on that heavy lead foot so I can throw a good jab. So a little more squared now, little just playing with some different things. And uh, if you watched um, Aldo when he fought Pedro Munoz, he was checking those calf kicks with like, there, I think he had four different styles of checks going on in that fight. Yeah. So I, I just took some notes and just tried to rep the motions, rep the motions, rep the motions, and just uh, visually try to let it set into my into my own skill set. So yeah, it, it's been a, I, I'm sure everybody, until I stop somebody with leg kicks, there people are going to be leg kicking me. So I just got to be ready for it. <laughs> oh, and if you're taking notes from somebody, I think Aldo is the man to take notes from, huh? 100%. That dude's a maniac. He's going to box now. I think he'll do well there. Oh, is he boxing now? Oh, That's what he said he that. wants to do. UFC uh-huh. said they're not going to let him fight MMA, but he can box. So I hope he does oh. well. Yeah, I'll tune in for that. Love me some Aldo. He's got another guy with great body work. That dude, that left hook to the body he throws is killer. Yeah, just ask Jeremy Stevens. Yeah. Oh, it's so dirty. Wow. wow. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so are you um th- this fight, like training for it and stuff? What's what's training been like for you? I know you have, the, like you said, the, the change of opponent and stuff. Does that really weigh on your mind that much? Or is it just, all right, let's just adjust game plan to this right now and use this part of the Swiss Army knife? Yeah, that's literally all it is. It's just just adjusting some of the some of the last minute touch ups that we were doing prior. Um, now we don't have to worry about like, uh, so much range being utilized. Um, and, uh, so many like teeps and stuff up the middle. I mean, he does throw them, but they're nowhere near along the same, same way that, uh, Jose does. Um, I, I, I don't know if you know this, I actually trained with, uh, Jose Johnson back when, uh, when COVID first hit me and him really? were, Rick, yeah, we were Ricky's training partners for the, the Ray, Ray Borg fight. So he was staying oh. with us too. So we were all like, you know, we played a bunch of video games together. So it was weird when I got that offer for him. Um, yeah, we, we both like he called me and like we had to talk for a second. It was a little little odd. We're just like, all right, cool. Well, I'll see you on the nineteenth. Yeah, I will. Yeah, so so that was supposed to be his debut, right? Yeah, that was going to be his debut, which which I thought was a little weird considering. Uh, um, I've been thinking about this a lot since the last fight. I think uh, I'll be. This is eight fights deep in the UFC. This is almost half of my career has been in the UFC now, and uh, wow. and it's it's crazy for me to think about. Um, I've done a lot of gro- growing up in like the premier organ- organization. And I think once I realized that I c- it kind of made me feel like, uh, like, like the vet and a little more confidence in my overall game and, and knowing like, uh, yeah, I've been here and I can do this. And it, it's, it's really, it's time to start like showing it and showing out and really doing things spectacular. So, um, yeah, I mean, it felt weird knowing I was fighting a debut guy. That's why another reason this fight with miles Johns excites me so much just cause, uh, he's, he's right along that same path with me. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, confidence, I feel like it's half the battle, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and and if if you're not confident, then you're in there timid, and and that is that's not where I compete the best. So I'm not, I'm out here trying to be confident and be in people's faces and, and putting the hurt on them. Where did you Where did you wrestle? Uh, I only wrestled um, high school in uh, Ontario, okay. Oregon, my my hometown. So it's like it's like ten thousand people. It's a tiny little town. But uh, um, I started out real crappy. I was like. I lost all my matches as a freshman and that was my first year of wrestling. I didn't, I didn't even know why I went back, but I went back. And by the time I was a senior, I ended up uh, a state champ my senior year. So uh, I really turned it around. And uh, that's, that's a big part of my game that I, people don't really know about. Like uh, I, I can wrestle my ass off and what? I, re- you didn't I go really want to college. No, I, I tried to, um, I went to Boise state and I was supposed to be red shirt, red shirting the first year. Mm-hmm. And I had some family issues happen and I could only uh, afford paying, paying for the first semester. And, and I had to, had to get out of there. So I, I missed a, missed a chance at wrestling in college. And that, that's actually what led me to MMA was I missed competing so much. 
I, yeah, and I, I love me some college wrestling. Season just started. I was like, I, I didn't realize that you had wrestled actually either. I, I'm actually kind of guilty of that as well. So that's actually yeah, most people cool. don't know, dude. I get it. I get it. I know. I never show it, but uh, but that that was a uh, literally when I was first getting into it. I was I went MMA instead of boxing because I was boxing at the time too. Uh, because I love dumping people on their heads, and then it turns out I just loved knocking their heads off a little bit more and and went that route. So, uh, but. <laughs> but it's it's MMA, right? So we got to we got to mix things up a little bit better. So um, yeah, I'm mixed martial artist. I plan to show it. So I'm excited because now I'm gonna get to place a parlay bet on uh, Vince Morales with a double leg takedown. I love it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, dude. So I'm I'm not really a good martial artist at all. Um, I don't get to challenge fighters as much, but I'm gonna challenge you to a Rubik's yeah. Cube race. Let's go, dude. I got mine right here. And you're you're I'm gonna smash you, bro. Like. This is oh, you might. Worst. You thought uh-huh. Gutierrez kicked your legs hard? <laughs> How dare you bring that up? Oh my. Wait, wait till I bust out this. I'm oh, I'm doing a mix man. up right now. So let's see. Okay, okay. Let's get it in the screen. I'll, see if we can get I'll it in the screen too. I. <clears throat> I haven't right, messed I'm... with my three by three in a while. I, I saw you're getting good, dude. didn't you? Post a. You had like a one of the a, a mirror pyramid, didn't you? Yeah, I bought a mirror pyramid. I bought a time. I got a whole bunch of crazy stuff, dude. I'm gonna send you pictures later. Yeah, you're a madman. That's nuts. All right. So, um, I guess on the we got a timer. Three, get your inspection in if you want. See what you got, and we can nah, roll. When you're ready. Okay. Uh, I'm ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. See, this is a problem though. Like these UFC fighters think they can come into my world. And challenge me, yeah, right. Yeah, hey, you challenge me. How dare you? I mean, how do that's like trash. I mean, come on, yeah. yeah mine's all mine's all stiff. This three by three. Mm. Um, I've, I've mostly been messing with the, the four by four lately. That's what I've been messing with too a lot lately because I wasn't any good at it. And I got a lucky solve the other day. Oh, I'm so bad right now. Oh, did you <laughs> talking all this trash get whooped? I can multitask just a little bit. Yeah, that, I think that's my problem. Let me uh, see. One more, one more. You know who can do these real good is uh, Ricky's little sister. She blew oh. me away doing these. It is so crazy. Like these kids, they'll pick. How old is his sister? Um, Man, what is she, like 11 or something like that? Oh, yeah, these kids, they pick it up so quick. Oh, I did something wrong. I messed up. Game over. Hold on. Oh, no, oh, no. I feel like you're getting close. I can feel it. You're nobody. Your wife's sending me DMs. Did you already? Are you? <laughs> your done. wife's sending me DMs. I'm Thankfully, done. this is not, this is not the one thing that she was uh, impressed with. You're right there. You're right there. I see. Oh, that. I know. I keep I keep doing the wrong thing. I'm all under. I'm under pressure. Hold on. Hold on. I'm rusty. I knew I should have practiced yesterday. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I really was. I was like, oh man. There it is. I got it now. Hold on. Oh, bro, I'm so. Oh, rusty. so you're doing OLL and PLL stuff. See, I can't do that. But th- this was the only way I could figure it out. I just sat there, and kept messing with like the, the, the these damn, uh, I guess, algorithms. Uh, right. I messed up the same thing like three times, and it threw me all off. You're right there. You're like right at the yeah, end. Yeah, I know it. Get I, know cross it. I know soon. it. Soon. Yeah, I can get the rest of this without looking now. I think, but. Oh, you smoked me, dude. You can probably solve it again by the time I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm mixing up just to see if I can. You're trying to, aren't you? I can see it. Hold on. I'm almost done. Dude, if I solve this hold again, on, on. you got to drop out of the fight. <laughs> you smoked me. I need, I'm, I'm going to get a new one, dude. We're going to speed. I'm going to get a smooth one and we're going to, we're going to rematch that. Cause that was a rematch? rough. After I get a smooth one because that was terrible. I'll send you a link to which one I got, dude. It's got like corner magnets and. You can add core magnets to it and stuff, and like it solves it for you almost. It's crazy. Oh yeah, look at that thing! This is, you just flick it. Yours is nice, dude. I got to get a full. You like got an actual Rubik's cube though. Here. The what? You got an actual Rubik's cube though. This is some Chinese thing, and it's brilliant. Oh, I that makes it. sense. I yeah, fair it. enough. You smoked me, dude. That was the longest ever. I'm at the touch up. We're rematching after we the fight. Rematch. Look, you win this fight, and I will grant you a rematch. How's that sound? We're we're, we're gonna we're gonna bet a giant bottle, giant shot of tequila or something. Uh, we'll figure something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vince, why should everybody tune in on the uh, what is it? The 19th? Uh, yeah, the 19th to come watch you fight, man. The 19th. I've I've been saying this. I was saying this to my to my cousin on um uh, 
on our podcast, which we just started. Um, What's the link? Called, I need to know it. Yeah, it, it, it's called it's called Just Cause. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, we're branching over to Spotify after the fight, but for now, it's all just YouTube stuff. Just Cause with me and Ricky Simone. Um, but yeah, I was just telling him, uh, it's like it's been a long time since uh, like I've re- felt like I've done something real spectacular, and that's everything that I'm, that I'm training is to go down that spectacular road. And uh, he's like, "Well, you know, you can do it. You've done it before. Just, just." just go be. And ever since he said, just go be, I, I literally, I, I told him, I was like, I'm putting that on my mirror. So I've been thinking about, it's been like, like my little mantra as I'm going into training sessions. I right, just go be, just go be. And uh, with the whole goal of, uh, of being spectacular and doing something, doing something that people are going to remember. So I think that comes on November 19th. So I just hope everybody tunes in. That is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Vince, I will be pulling for you as usual. Um, where can everybody find you on social media? On social media, the best place is probably Instagram, but Instagram and Twitter, that's both at Vendetta135. Um, you can usually find me on Twitter talking a little smack or on Instagram trying to be a little more professional. So I love it. I love it. Thanks for the time again, brother. I appreciate it. And I can't yeah, wait for our rematch. Yeah, I appreciate it, but it was good talking to you, man.